What's up magic makers, Drew here. And today I want to show you how I make my sea wands. So this is the size I normally go for. It, it fits really well in the hand, in my hand anyway. But I do make one size larger than this and then one size smaller than this. Um, it's still okay, but I personally prefer the weight and the size of a shell this size. This is one I had made prior actually years ago, but I want to show you guys how, take you through how I make them. This one is very ornate and small, but unfortunately it was the only one I could get my hands on in time for this video. So this is what I'll be working with. It has a nice point on it though. It has a really nice little point on it. So that's pretty good. So in my C wands, I use crystals and metal. So here we have quartz, just regular clear quartz chips, and that is for protection, healing, and energy amplification. Here we have turquoise, and I put that in for protection, money, love, healing, and luck. I add a bit of copper in for energy amplification, energy direction, luck, love, healing, money, and protection. The hematite is good for grounding and healing. I also add granulated garnet for healing, protection, and energy amplification. I add ground kyanite for love and endurance. I add ground selenite for purification and energy amplification. I add ground pumice. That is for banishing and protection. I also add some sea salt for blessings, banishing, purification, and protection. Here I have rosemary that I put in and I put the rosemary in for protection, love, purification, healing. The rose I put in for love, healing, luck, and protection. I add some Dittany of Crete for manifestation, some myrrh for protection, healing, and spirituality. And then there are some sea bits that I add. So I will add a little bit of sand dollar the sand dollar represents the five elements and prosperity. I will also be adding in a bit of crab pieces that I pick up on the beach. And these are for prosperity and success. I use beach sand to sort of bind everything together. And the properties of beach sand are cleansing, growth, and change. It is sand that is taken from a tween space. It is between two worlds, if you will, the land and the sea, and a little bit of seaweed from the beach. Now, as always, you can substitute anything you like for any of the ingredients that I use. That is entirely up to you. And before we get started, let me not neglect to mention, I have some matches and a beeswax candle for sealing the wand when we're done. Okay, so this is my little working cauldron and I will be adding my ingredients in here. And mixing them all together. So I need a base of sand. To start with. some quartz and you know quartz chips will do the turquoise they're just little beads for bracelets necklaces what have you I am going to add in all of my hematite and all of the turquoise I don't know if I'll add in all the quartz if you don't have little chunks of copper you can always use copper wire something like that Okay, I'm adding in my pumice. So 
selenite. Selenite and kyanite are both self-cleansing, so they will also be continually cleansing my wand. That's a big part of the reason why I want them in. Sea salt. And I, like I've said, you can substitute anything you want for any of the ingredients I use. I choose my ingredients based on what it is I'm trying to achieve. So I tried to cover all bases, anything I might do while directing energy with this wand. Rosemary and roses, some Dittany of Crete, one of my favorites. I say one of my favorites, but anyone who knows me knows they're all my favorites. Okay, I'm going to put in myrrh and I'm not even, I'm not going to grind it up. I'm just going to grab some of the smaller chunks and throw those in. The wee little baby myrrh chunks. Seaweed. Connection with the ocean. For my crab bits, I already have some ground up. No, I'm just going to use some of that. I know a lot of people don't enjoy working with animal parts, so if you're not into it, by all means, make a substitution. And it breaks my heart to break apart the sand dollar, but that's why I get them. The, the sand dollars that are broken and damaged, I use them in spellcraft and uh, grind them up or what have you. This one I'm just gonna break up into pieces. I'm not actually going to grind it up. And for this type of application, I like to go around the edges because they're thinner at the edges. Now, if I'm grinding it up, it doesn't matter, but we're just breaking up the little pieces to go in the wand. The outside edges are the best bit. And put some garnet granule. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna use all of that. All right, guys, I'm going to do some enchanting real quick, um, and then we'll get to it. Okay, now it's as simple as filling the shell. Now, it is a spiral shell, so you got to play with it to get everything down in the bottom each time. And you'll know it's gone down when it stops leaking out of the top. Now if you notice, and I don't know if you could tell because I'm watching what I'm doing, not what the camera's picking up, but um, I am trying to get it as more of the sandy ground up um, ingredients here to start with so that they fill up the bottom because of course it gets narrow and tapers down as it goes down. Now this is a smaller one so it's going to fill up quicker than I'm used to because I usually like I said like to work with the larger sizes. So I want to go ahead and make sure that I get all the stones in that I want in my copper all that. Here's a turquoise, so I'm gonna get that in there. Another turquoise in there. Um, here's some hematite. There's my copper, that's what I want for sure. Okay, I feel pretty good about it. So I've packed it to the brim with my ingredients. Got plenty left I'll be able to make more wands with. And now I'm going to seal it. So I'm just going to let the wax drip until I get a good seal of the wax. 
Okay, so I've got it full, but it needs to solidify and cool down. And then typically I would like to put a little sigil or a pentacle or something in it when I seal it. But this opening being so small, I don't, I mean, I could draw it by hand, I suppose, but I'm not going to bother. Okay, so you can see it kind of looks like maybe a little sea slug or something is living in there, but it's sealed. Nothing is going to fall out. Um, it's an okay size for the hand. I would now, if it were for me, maybe consecrate it, do some working on it. Um, I will imbue it with energy, but I'm not going to be keeping this. It's not for me. So I'm not going to do a whole lot to it. Actually, because I've won these two giveaways recently, I've been thinking of doing my own and I think I'm going to give away, among other things, the things that I have done how-to videos on so far that I make. So yeah, look forward to that. As always, thanks for watching guys and until next time, much love and gratitude.